So look up the word legends, you'll see this human, Bobito Garcia. In the 90s, he and his creative partner, Stretch Armstrong, introduced the world to artists like Nas, Jay-Z, Biggie. Is that all? Essit, Eminem. <laughs> they introduced the world with their Stretch and Bobito radio show. That was enough, though. Yeah. He, he's the reason you, your child, your partner have a mild obsession with sneakers. <laughs> he wrote a book about it. And speaking of sneakers, Bobito and Nike collaborated on not one, but seven AF1s. My son was a sneakerhead, still kind of is, but yeah. I had a whole garage filled. He was I collecting bet. at one I point. Yeah. I, and I think once a sneakerhead, always a sneakerhead. Yeah. And since you asked, mm -hmm. Chris, yes, Bobito played professional ball in Puerto Rico. Wow. He is a filmmaker, a music producer, a humanitarian, <laughs> a husband, a father, and an author once again. His new book is called Aim High, Little Giant. Aim High, Bobito. He's clearly a show off with all of that. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. It's so great to see you. Ever. And the, and, what, and I I buried the lead. Yes. Chief among all of these things. Yes. He went to Wesleyan University. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I am driving, Bob. I am driving this poor man to drink. I know everyone. I think who graduated. Any time I see the slightest, slightest Connection. inkling that someone went to Wesleyan, I'm like, oh, they Wesleyan. went to Wesleyan. So thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me on on uh, New York Living. A blessing to be back on PIX. Mm -hmm. I've been a frequent uh, visitor over the last four or five years with various projects and to support. Uh, you know, just announcements and, mm -hmm. and events mm -hmm. and just show love to Marisol Castro, I my favorite <laughs> television host in the world. All right, hi. Chris, you're pretty cool, too. Uh, I'm working on it. <laughs> Maybe it'll rub off. <laughs> That's what I have. So what's interesting is that this, this book is fiction, which is new for you, um, but the book is based in nonfiction. So give us a brief overview of the protagonist, Taina, and her journey. Well, the title of the book is Aim High, Little Giant, Aim High. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a parent, and my co-parent and I have been home unschooling our mm. child uh, for, since his birth. And um, during the pandemic, uh, I was able to really present some learning opportunities to my son in a fertile ground of, you know, basketball courts of Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And so when I was approached by We Are Little Giants, the publisher, to author a kid's book, I thought, let me base some of my real life experiences over the last few years uh, into a narrative that would challenge me um, and challenge the readers in a, a goofy and fun way. It's, mm -hmm. it's written for kids. You know, quite honestly, a lot of adults who have no children have been purchasing the book, <laughs> and which surprised me, but, you know, uh, Black World Schoolers in, in Indiana, uh, a bookshop out there, told me, you know, picture books are for everyone. And so mm -hmm. uh, it's illustrated by Estefania Rivera Cortez de Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why I chose to rock with her is because she's not of the basketball culture. She's not from New York. And mm -hmm. she was able to bring some, you know, some brilliant colors that I don't think uh, a New York illustrator might have been able to do, uh, you know, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was wonderful working with her. and and giving her, uh, you know, an opportunity to illustrate her first book. And I'm proud of it. We've been selling thousands mm -hmm. of copies independently. And, um, you know, it, it's one of, uh, you know, I've done a lot of things. I've been a TV host. I've been a radio host. I've been a, a filmmaker. And, you know, this is right up there with my other mm -hmm. um, achievements, you know, in, in, in my lifetime that I'm really, I'm, I'm I'm just, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. Things inspired by our children are always a little closer and near yeah. and dear to our hearts. Yeah. Now, you talked a little bit about New York City. So the setting of this book is New York City. And in doing a little research for it, I mean, did you discover anything new or different about the Big Apple? Well, I mean, I, you know, I, I lived in Brooklyn for four years. Uh, I'm born and raised in New York. Uh, lived in Manhattan my whole time, uh, my whole life. Um, but, you know, I, I also wrote a, authored a book called uh, Where'd You Get Those? New York City mm -hmm. Sneaker Culture, 1960 to 1987, which uh, came out 20 years ago. We have our anniversary edition coming out no this fall. No way. Yeah, it's crazy. And so um, this being my first fiction, um, you know, I, I, I did feel, uh, I mean, I'm always trying to show, show light and love mm -hmm. to my hometown and also to my nationality, you know, Boricua. Mm -hmm. And so uh, both of those, you know, the, the, the protagonist, uh, Taina, is Afro-Boricua. 
um, the uh, friends are, you know, from Japan, and, and uh, one is Arab Muslim, and one is uh, uh, from Senegal. I mean, and, you know, this is, again, based on reality. Right. My child and I would go to playgrounds in, in Brooklyn, and that's, you know, those are the kids that we would meet. Right. And so I wanted to to make it authentic to to uh, this city's and the five boroughs' experiences, but also it's, it's fiction. And, you know, right. there's a lot of characters that are composite, uh, you know, taken from of uh, people in one your life mentor, that you one... knew. Right, right. And absolutely, it, right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's the, mm -hmm. the, the diaspora of the Latino mm -hmm. culture, this Afro-Latina, this Taina, una boricua, and then also just the melting pot that is New York. New York. He's a Queens every boy, day. I'm a Bronx girl. We live that every single mm -hmm. day, so it's nice to see that. Hey. Um, absolutely. And because I know you, and it's always for the culture, of all the publishers you could have chosen, you picked We Are Little Giants. Why? Yes. Well, We Are Little Giants is a black and Puerto Rican independent publisher. Uh, they also are a clothing line. Uh, they just had a, a collaboration with Target for African uh, for Black History Month coming up. Um, and, you know, they're just, they're rocking. They've put out books uh, called ABCs for Little Gs where uh, it'll be like V is for Vans, L is for LeBron, you know, board books for like yeah. uh, toddlers. Um, they wanted to expand uh, their catalog and that's why they reached out to me about writing something that wasn't uh, uh, for the, the younger age group, but mm -hmm. something that could be like for ages seven and up. And I love working with them. I mean, we're hustling, you know, we're knocking on doors. I've opened accounts at sneaker boutiques like Premium Goods. I've had uh, Back to Basics, Grow Our Game, Dudo Baez, which are all basketball mm -hmm. uh, organizations, nonprofits, you know, provide books to their campers yeah. and to their players. Uh, Bronx Arts uh, purchased a hundred books. All right, now I you're mean, showing off. You're on. showing off now, Bob. Now you're showing off. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying we, we're being, we're being creative because we're not at Barnes and Nobles yet. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not at Greenlight Books in Fort Greene yet. Um, we're, we're circumventing the, pu the publishing in industry and just trying to get directly to the primary audience, and then from there, hopefully, we'll be strong enough with our foundation, right. and then we Expand can get into, you know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, we're open ours. We're opening uh, accounts with very non-traditional booksellers, Fat Beats, the hip hop store, you know, there took you 20 go. copies. It's right. like, you right. know, they've never carried a kid's book in their entire, wow. <laughs> you know, 30 year history. Yeah. Well, but you know, yeah, a little bit so helps. Just Absolutely. trying to be creative. Yeah. Get thank it out goodness. there. Thank goodness. Well, Pito, thank you so much. Congrats. Oh, oh man. Thank you. I this want... is Aim High. Little All right. Aim High. Aim High. <laughs> <laughs> So much more I wanted to talk about He'll the NFTs that. and all Don't that stuff. Don't you worry. Okay. I wanted him to pull a record from back then. See, yeah. I mean, his crates are deep, mm -hmm. deep, deep, deep. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Got... <laughs> I can't. The book is called Aim High, Little Giant Aim High. It's available at all those places that Bob Beto was just there telling us about. Books. Absolutely.